Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm here to share a vision that I received in the month of February 2022. It is a very prophetic and important vision. Please pay, pay heed to it. So in this vision, I was hearing 622, but I was seeing 6 slash 72. and so when when i heard and saw this i said lord what is the meaning of this they don't match and uh, they are not the same thing so and so i thought like what is this it might not be something relevant and so i just ignored i just put it at the back of my mind and but then the holy spirit of the lord reminded me of this and i started thinking and so and then i realized that Six twenty-two meant a time, so six standing for the month of June, and twenty-two standing for this year, two thousand twenty-two. And so then I thought about seventy-two to six six slash seventy-two, and so I prayed over it. I prayed a lot and for God to reveal, and I did some Google search also. But the Lord led me to the book of Exodus, chapter nineteen. So in Exodus chapter nineteen, we see that um, the the Israelites came into the desert of Sinai in the on the in the third month, and so as I read further, um, we see that you know I saw that the the Lord had asked Moses to ask the people to obey His commandments, and uh, He said that the 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 Israelites God said that the Israelites were chosen to be a special people, a, a class of priests and a holy nation. and in verse 9 we see that the lord told moses um that he would appear in the presence of the people on mount sinai in a thick cloud and they would hear the voice of god so here is the two things two different things that i saw you know the the 622 uh, that i was hearing and the 672 that i was seeing it it is so it, it is actually representing this this verse that we see here the lord would appear and the people would see the presence of the lord they would see the glory of god and they would hear the voice of god and uh, the lord also told moses to ask the people to sanctify themselves wash themselves prepare themselves for two days and on the third day he would appear on the mountain so here the third day uh, stands for the 6/72 that i saw um that that one day is 24 hours and so the third day amounts to the 72 hours and so it so happened that when we read uh, verse 16 we see what happened on the mountain on the third day in the morning the lord appeared on the mountain okay the mountain was engulfed in smoke obviously because there was a fire and that that's the fire of god the glory of god is is fire and uh, then there were they heard the thunders and the lightning and there was an earthquake and and the trumpet sounded and the people heard and they trembled so they saw as well as heard the presence of god on the mountain amazingly this is what the lord showed me i mean i would never ever have been able to connect this he had to lead me to this chapter i had no idea whatsoever and so i see that there's something coming up this june and i really do not know what it is okay and so uh, also that um, when i read this i i realized that god does things on appointed days so i googled for a biblical feast in june and oh my i mean surprise <laughs> this the fact was obviously already always there that it is uh, june in in the month of june the feast of shavuot is celebrated and shavuot is is uh, the same day when this this incident happened and where um, the lord gave the torah that is the 10 commandments to moses orally and uh, june is actually the third month in the biblical calendar okay and uh, the 72 also represents the third day that jesus rose that's also amounts to the the third day of the 72 hours 
okay and there's another significance to this month june um, the that the feast of that is sorry the the pentecost is celebrated in this month that's when the disciples were gathered together and uh, the the holy spirit came as a mighty rushing wind and filled the room and there were cloven tongues of fire so in both the incidents that we see here um, there's something to see and as, as well as hear it is so much full of the presence and the glory of god and in both these incidents um, the people had gathered together and one the first time in the mount and the second time in the upper room okay and uh, in psalms 68 verse 8 and verse 17 we see the description again of what happened on the mountain the earth shook and the heavens dropped at the presence of god even sinai itself was moved at the presence of god the god of israel that's verse 8 and verse 17 the chariots of god are 20000 even thousands of angels and the lord is among them as in sinai in the holy place the mountain was a holy place because of the presence of god and so one more thing that i saw is that in matthew uh, chapter 26 and verse 53 we read that jesus had said that couldn't he you know ask the father to <clears throat> have 12 legions of angels to you know to protect him against the soldiers who had come to capture him so i made an inference 12 one legion has about 6000 angels and so 12 legions make 72 so that 72 thousands of angels with god on the mountain okay so let us uh, wait for the month of june and the the verse sorry the chapter 19 says about sanctifying and preparing for two days so in any case we are supposed to be prepared for the lord any time i am not saying that it, it's the coming of the lord no it has not been revealed to me so what has not been revealed to me i will not speak about it but yes this is something that that we have we are asked to watch for the lord is uh, definitely about to do something great miraculous because in the first instance on the mount sinai uh, the lord gave the 10 commandments he came with glory the second time and he gave the holy spirit that was also another great revival so let us wait and see what happens a third time we are definitely waiting for a mighty hand of the lord we want to see his glory that the world will know whom we serve we serve the true and living god so be encouraged brothers and sisters uh, keep the faith strong let us all be warriors warriors for christ and yes god bless you all brothers and sisters thank you for watching